Hi all, welcome to the best of CAT series by IMS. I am Parmeshwar Sarma over here and today we will look at a question on geometry. So kindly give it a try and then resume the video once we are done with it. So in today's question the sum says we have a triangle ABC. A circle with diameter BC is drawn which intersect the side AB and AC at the points P and Q respectively. If the length of let's say AB, AC and CP are given to you as 30, 25 and 20 centimeter respectively, the objective is to find out the length of BQ. So first of all we have a triangle ABC and then we are drawing basically a semicircle with BC as a diameter intersecting the side AB and AC at the point P and Q respectively. It will look like this. And then if you look at, they have given the length of CP as a 20 and the objective is to find out the length of BQ over here. Many of you will be surprised because they might spend a lot of time in thinking about we can possibly apply the co concept of second theorem over here. You might say it has to be equals to AP into AB equals to AQ into AC but there is no need to find out the value of AP and AQ over here. The most important part was over here that suppose if I join this CP and BQ, can I say one thing that over here since this BC is my diameter and this BPQC happens to be a semicircle, angle in a semicircle happens to be at right angle. What does it mean that this line segment CP has to be perpendicular to the line segment AB over here? Likewise, one can say the line segment BQ also need to be perpendicular on this line, let us say AC over here. So once I got that the two angles are 90 degree over here, what I can ask is since the length of AB is given to you as 30, the length of AC is known to us as 25 and CP is given to you as a 20 centimeter. Can I say one thing over here that can I ask that for the triangle ABC, if I take the base as AB, then the corresponding height becomes CP. Similarly, for the same triangle, if someone take the AC as their base, in that particular case BQ happened to be the height. So what I will do is, I will simply going to use the concept of half base into height, the area formula and I will easily able to find out the length of BQ over here. So if I look at the triangle ABC. I can say the area of the triangle ABC if I take AB as the base will be half of AB times of CP which in turn should be equals to if I take the base as AC the height happens to be a BQ so half of AC into BQ and then if I put the value because you can see here we have four variables AB, CP, AC and BQ and out of four if I know three of them I can definitely find out the fourth one pretty easily. So one gets a half, AB is 30, CP is 20, AC is 25 and the objective is to find out the length of BQ. So half goes out, then I can say 5 times 5 is 25, 5 times 4 is 20, 5 times 6 is 30. So hence the length of BQ as you can see comes out to be 24 centimeter and hence the answer for this particular sum will be 24. Now if you have understood the concept here, so kindly solve the replica question and put your answer in the comment section. 